SAP 2000 offers many powerful graphical display tools, but it also offers a robust environment for the creation and formatting of tables displaying data. This tutorial will show how to use SAP 2000's Display Show Tables command to review input and output tables and export data. Click this command, and the next form shows that we have numerous tables available for this model. This example will focus primarily on the analysis results, so check the Element Output option and click OK to view the table containing member forces for our trust problem. We can start to modify the layout of this table by going to the Format Filter Sort command and selecting Format Table. Click on the V2 row, which is a shear force, and uncheck the Include Field in Report option. Note how the item changes to Not Printed. We can also do this by double-clicking on the field. Switch all the items occurring after the P or axial force to Not Printed by selecting the rows and double-clicking. Note that all of the fields after P have been removed from the table display. Go back to the Format table, click on the Axial Force row, and change the field alignment to Center. And the field width to 1.2 inches, and click OK to see the changes. Bring up the Format form again. and click on the Axial Force row one final time and set the number of decimal places to zero. Also uncheck the Always Display in Current Units box and select the pound units from the drop-down list and then click OK. Note how the units have changed for this column. One of the most powerful capabilities of the Show Tables command is the Filter option, whereby you can select an operator to filter your report. Select the Quick option, choose the P field, and click in the Operator box and select the operator greater than. And in the Filter value, input 5000. We could have also done this using the basic option. This results in a table which displays output only at stations where the axial force exceeds 5,000 pounds. Note also that the applied filter is shown in the top left-hand corner. Another powerful option is the table sorting feature. Click in the sort by box and select P. And if we do not check the descending box, the table will be sorted in ascending order. Once we have set the table up in the format we desire, we may save the formatting changes to a file so that we may reuse this format style on future tables. Name the file Table Format for Future Reference. To see how saving the formatting to file works, Exit the tables by clicking on the Done button and go back to the Display Show Tables command. Click the OK button. Note that the table generated with the default settings reports all of the force values. Next, go to the File, Apply Format from File to Current Table command. 
and select the previously defined table format file. This time the table is generated as previously formatted. Tables may also be displayed in Microsoft Word or other formats by going to the File Display Current Table command. This allows for the quick and easy preparation of professional looking reports. Although this example has focused primarily on the output tables, the same formatting capabilities including filter options exist for the input and design tables as well. This time select the joint coordinates table and go to the filter table command. For the X coordinate, select Between from the Operator drop down list and type in minus 200 and 200 for the filter. This generates a table populated only with joints having an X coordinate between minus 200 and positive 200. If we go back to the Format Table command, there are two other checkboxes in the general area that we have not discussed. These are the repeat field if table is split and force a table split after this field. With item 1 selected, the repeat field checkbox is checked. We will also check this box for item 2. None of the other items will have this box checked. Next, we will highlight item 7 and check the force a table split option. Notice how item 1, joint, and item 2, coordinate system, are repeated after item 7. These were the two items just checked. The table split we requested does not show up on the display, but it is visible when we display the current table in another program. See how the first two items are repeated in each table and that the split occurs after item 7. Finally, the data displayed in these tables when using the display command is not editable. It is only for the viewing and exporting of model information. To change the values, you must go to the Edit Interactive Database Editing command. This concludes this tutorial.